Hello and welcome to Dinosaurs Before They Were Fuels. This is the show where we cover dinosaur news and yes, there is such a thing as dinosaur news. I'm your host Aya Zaktar and today we're talking about fossil finds, a marine dinosaur and a living dinosaur being spotted today? First up, some fossil find news over in Colorado. A team working on Highway 145 found some rocks. All right, they found more than rocks. They found some fossils of a sauropod. A sauropod is a giant plant eater like a Brachiosaurus. The name sauropod means lizard foot. Is that narrator back? Yep. All right, anyway, the fossils are headed to a museum. On the other side of the world, an excavation site has yielded some promising specimens. So how did these dinosaurs get stuck in this location? Looks like a mudslide killed them because the fossils that were found are very well preserved to the point that the brain structure of these dinosaurs can be studied. Let's talk about marine dinosaurs. Any objections? Nope. Alright, good. Mosasaurs were thought to move in the water like an eel. So we're talking about a snaking, slithery kind of motion. Some new research based on what is being called the finest specimen of a mosasaur says they moved more like a shark. So how was this figured out? It had a specialized tail fin that evolved earlier than originally thought. If you want to see this specimen, it will be featured in a new exhibit in 2011 at the Natural History Museum of Los Angeles County. You know, if you want to see it right now, you can get a sneak peek at that museum's dino lab. A story out of New Guinea is claiming that the Ropen, a flying dinosaur, has been spotted. Not fossils, the actual dinosaur is flying around. Well, that's what the story says. There's even a YouTube video which we'll show you right now. So, is it real? Probably not. Just because there's a video of something doesn't make it true. I've got a video where I fight in a clone war, and that didn't really happen. <laughs> Would something like this be debunked soon? Probably not. Consider this, flying dinosaur reports are probably going to grab tourists. If there's money to be made, New Guinea will probably publicize this for some nice tourist coin. And for the record, by the way, this show is pretty sure that's not really a dinosaur flying around. So we'll find out later. Hey, if you know anyone who's just getting into dinosaurs, Wired.com has a nice article showing off, quote, the science of the dinosaur arsenal, end quote. It's a nice read that will introduce some new information to dinosaur fans. We'll have a link at dinoshow.com. And that does it for this episode of Dinosaurs Before They Were Fuels. Remember, this show is brought to you by you, the viewers. If you're feeling generous, hit dinoshow.com and drop us a tip. We'll even throw in a shout out for your show or site or whatever you want to promote. Want to maybe propose to somebody, go ahead. Anyway, enough of that. I'm Aya Zaktar and I'll see you in around two weeks. Thanks for watching. Thank you.